Pandarian lost to Black Dino Right first round of top 48. So I think it's just those three left for Washington. Conga's still sitting in winners. Yes, I do. All right. So I'm going to be joined here by uh, by Mono. How's it going? How's it going? Good. How are you, Jake? Good. Just uh, commenting some pretty good, uh, some pretty good top 48 sets. That last one, AMAC for, for Shogi was was really tight. Definitely. Good to see BC pull through, and let's see if BC could pull through again. Uh, Cap Nell versus Truman. They're going to start on Smashville. I expect this to be honestly a pretty slow set. Cap Nell's really patient, and Sonic. I mean, Truman is on is a Sonic player, and although Sonic is traditionally pretty, you know, pretty slow paced. Truman is relatively aggressive. Like he does like to put pr pressure on his opponents when he can. I agree. I just played him, and he's one of the most aggressive Sonic I've played. Okay. But I yeah. do know that Captain L does have that Sonic experience. He does have that Sonic experience, and he will play to the clock if he needs to. And Truman will also, you know, as, despite being as, as aggressive as he is, he does, you know, he uses the clock if he needs to as well. Right. I, I saw him do it earlier versus Ladies. I actually, kind of to an extent. Like game five. Um, I, they only had like two minutes left or something on the clock at the last dock, and Truman, you know, he did the thing where he respawned and he just waited on the respawn platform for a while. And he did that against me earlier. Yeah. And it was just, he wants to run the clock whenever possible, but yeah. obviously right now we're seeing him going in. The clock is Sonic's friend, but he will apply pressure when he needs to, and I think that's a good way to play Sonic. I heard him out there saying that Spring Ride carries him. <laughs> yeah, he really likes Spring Ride. He's a big fan of it. Nice okay. Grab. Yeah, grabbing, punishing uh, Captain L's quick attack in. It's looking really good for Truman so far. Actually, has a pretty good lead. He's not overextending, which is a good yep. thing. Leads with Sonic can just snowball. Like if you if you're behind on Sonic and you have to approach him, and he can just like sit back and spin dash. It's so hard to deal with. You can just keep racking damage when you overextend. Like now, what do you think Captain L has to do here in order to get some more damage? Um, he has to juggle. Uh, juggle Truman. Like, he's got him in the air now. He's covering the landings there, so he's forced the air dodge with the up air. Follows him, follows his landing and grabs him. Now he's got him off stage, and he can just switch and repeat. He misses the, uh, the punish on the homing attack there, but he got a good 30 damage off of that little string, and he needs to keep doing stuff like that. You're right. If he, if he can keep it and wait for a mess up. Yeah. Like, right here. Oh. oh Truman went for the back throw. That would have killed for sure. But yeah, uh, pushing advantage state against Sonic is really important, because... That's one of his biggest weaknesses, is him getting juggled. Now we saw there, Captain L went for the quick attack and back throw, but didn't get hit. Yep. Air dodges through that up air. Captain L's playing this really well, not giving himself, not giving Truman any openings yet. So it seems like Truman's having a harder time right now, not just to get that finishing touch. Yeah, let's, let's hope he doesn't get too greedy here. Okay. That option with a fair. And he and just, just yeah, Truman doesn't respect it enough. He gets hit by it and loses his first stock. That's a natural Cap platform is really good for any character in I think. Yeah, for sure. Any character with a good fast border that can like combo into itself, you gotta you gotta be respectful of that on special. They don't call it Sheikville for nothing. Alright. So Cap Nell sitting at 156%. He has max max rage. He doesn't have a whole lot of super scary setups with rage, but but he does have patience, and I think he's yeah. trying to draw it out as much as possible. Oh, that back air setting him across the stage, not going to kill. Truman. He hasn't taken much damage yet, but we're already more than halfway into the game, uh, looking at the clock. Now, that's that's neat what he does there on the edge. He tends to do it a lot, though, so I wonder if Captain Elf's going to punish it, punish it, that wall jump. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Truman has some pretty pretty neat mix ups at the edge. He do likes to do spin shotting onto the stage, too. I see that a lot from him. Truman is like he's not getting any direct punishes off of Cap Nell when he, whenever he like throws something out. Uh, so he's, he's trying to like roll, read Cap Nell's escapes, and he's like you see him dash across the stage and try to get a grab, but Cap Nell's mixing up well enough that he hasn't found anything yet. And Truman was holding off for a while, not taking much damage, but he's at 52 now, and he still hasn't found the KO. And you see him going for the pivot grab. There we oh, go. Spin, spin dash into up air. He's finally going to do it, killing him. Capnell over 200% after that first hit, after the uh, that up air landed. Yeah, that's good for Capnell doing well. Hopefully he can keep it up. Yeah, shield poking with that back air. 
Oh, it doesn't get the lining punish though. That but that's okay. Dude, just baiting. Yeah. Whenever, whenever he just crouches, it's, 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 a, it's a nice little taunt. Yeah, no, Captain L's, Captain L's is so slippery with his with his defense. It's the strength of Vidu. Maybe can edge guard here. Yep. Oh, spot dodging the grab, getting his own back throw, forcing True Main off stage. Throwing out some salty moves over there. Is this it? Yep. Oh, he springs over, springs over top the thunder actually. Both of those springs hit him. Yeah. Raining springs here. Okay. True Main gets a bit of a gets a jab. It's the first real bit of damage he's got this stock. Dash attack to cover the quick attack. Up air. Uh, good on Captain O not falling for a lot of those side beasts, but yep. two in a row. Yeah. Maybe Full behind in forward air. Perhaps. He's he's back in this game now for sure, but he's you gotta consider that there's only 30 seconds left on the clock. It, True Main kinda has to play aggressive at this point. It's working out for him. It is working out for him for sure. Now let's let's see if Captain O notices the time. No, I'm sure he's aware. Down. I can't see Captain L playing this matchup but not being a mindful of the timer. That's it. But yeah, down. I think that was a down throw, wasn't it? That was a down. Yeah. Throw. So on the down throw, if you di in, it's basically you get you get a thunder off of that. So, so DI two, mix up there. Yeah, it is a di mix up with up throw. So with up throw, you it's more of like a you have to like react to if you're like really on point or uh, like read the di. But uh, with down throw, you just you straight up you just want to di out. That's right. So Captain L using that true main, not either not aware or not able to react to the down throw. Now, what do you think was going on there? They're checking the. Do you, do you think they thought the damage multiplier was under or something? They're checking the. I don't know. Maybe the they were, maybe they were just memeing. <laughs> maybe they just wanted to be sure. Who knows? Two, one, go! All right. So going into game two, true main counterpicking Dreamland. This is. Pikachu has some good stuff on this stage, but it's really good for Sonic too because he can get, he can get really uh, early spring ride KOs off the platforms. I think it is his best stage. Yeah, it's really good for Sonic. Alright, so True Main takes first blood, which means that Captain L has to approach for this first little bit at least. Oh, the, the jab trade is gonna. Yeah. Even in the okay. game out? Yeah. This is the juggles you're talking about, Firefly. Yep, it is. The air dodge oh, is no baby. bad air dodge from True Main, and that's gonna, that's gonna get him killed. That's hard. That is, that's tough. Drop down and taunts. Now let's see if he's gonna start charging in like he did at the end of last game. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna have to put more. Yeah. He doesn't have to do anything. Yeah. Capnell has a huge lead, and he's going to sit on it. Come along for the ride, streamers. Yep. And the jabs? Is he gonna drag him down again? No, not this time. Oh, he uh, he went for the spring ride there, I think. I he, don't think so. The double jump. Yeah, yeah, he double jumped into the sp and he, like I'm sure he's looking for something really, really yeah. cheeky right now. He went now. for that down air. Huh? Did you see that down air? Uh, from True Main? Yeah. I missed it actually. He went right off the stage for down air, but uh, he ended up getting beat by one of the oh, Okay. Aerials. Gotcha. Just as you were saying the word cheese. Yeah. No, he 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 wants. He, need, he needs cheese. He's down a full stock. Capnell is almost laughing at Yeah. This is a great lead for Capnell. Yep. Wall jump to spring. Very nice. Homing attack. Oh, he get the back yeah. There. I, think he, right there. I think he got right through the last hit of it. Ooh, he tries to draw up smash the, the spin dash. Oh, he gets uh, it. Oh, it didn't. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Didn't get it in that direction. Someone so, had a nap today. Yeah, no, that's um, I think that was because of Dreamland. Oh wow! Yeah, the that. yeah, the hurt box of uh, of uh, quick attack is really. I'm okay. Yeah. Um, sorry, distraction. Just uh, Don't worry, Ryan Picardo making sure his commentators are good to go. Okay, yeah, he's gonna follow with thunder, and again, Truman's gonna spring out. Yep. Well, let's see. Drag down with forward, forward air. Jabs. Yeah. That, that covers. Uh, that covers get up really reliably. A great job by Truman. They're dropping down with that up there. Yep. Oh, up smash. Oh, yeah, it. that was. He overcommitted to that. 
he, he wanted to try to catch the jump, but uh, Captain Dell fell in behind Dog Smash and just forward smashed him for it. Okay. That's two stock. 2 oh, on the set. Yep. Versus True Main. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Um, that was True Main's counter pick. I mean, he suffered a lot from that early early KO, that the Gimp. So he might, he might just go back. And an update here from the other the loser side of bracket. Big D3 only get Schult. Yep. Sending uh, get Schult out at 17. Three, two, one. So Big D, oh no. I see a full BC bracket here. Big D and Len play for 13th, and the winner of that plays Locust to make it in the top eight. That's brutal. That's elimination, elimination, elimination. Yep. That's rough. But anyway, we're going to go to uh, Omega Suzaku Castle for game three. And again, very slow start to this match as well. 20 seconds in, we've got a combined 9%. This is painful. Yeah. But neither of them having any problems with dragging it out. Yeah. It's a switching spot from left to right. Yep. My goodness, there really isn't hasn't been much to say so far. They're both just playing so patiently. But True Main does get a bit of damage there, and he takes a 17% lead. Oh, another spring dive. Oh, he gets a lot of damage off that actually. That was 22 more percent. To be going oh, nice. I like that. Uh, that was a good spring to get away from that. Uh, that with homing attack in this stage. Yeah, now approaching now. He has no choice. Yeah. Oh, he's getting really good follow up here. I think that was like first hit of uh, up, up air into back air. Here come the juggles. Yep. Capnell not following the landing quite. Oh! That down air almost taking the stock. Yeah, yeah. Sends him pretty high up. I noticed True Main here is just hitting Captain L whenever Captain L overextends. I like I like the attempt from True Main there. Nice tech from Captain L though. That's two? Yeah. Um I, I liked True Main so Captain L was jabbing at the ledge uh that earlier and True Main uh tried to up air him to get away. Back air across the stage, not gonna kill only because of the stage position there. Oh, Captain L gets a little bit of damage that now. And he's just throwing out too many areas. Yeah. Oh, it's you can't keep up with Sonic, you have to sort of just wait for him to... Kind of, yeah. It's really hard to challenge him. And True Main... True Main's been running away with this match. 45% on his first stock. Captain L hasn't been trapping his landings as well as, as, as effectively as we've seen in the last... Uh, in the earlier matches. Now it seems like he's using that jab as a bait. Yeah. I think that's the thing, like, the jab just discourages people from using neutral getup and forces them to use, it to use something more committal to, uh, to hit the, to punish the jab or get around the jab. And then, but then that gives Captain L the opportunity to read those options and then punish those with something harder. Yeah. And we can see here, Tremain is not scared of that commitment. He's just going in and in and trying to get that damage before the stock is seen. Yeah, I know he's still building up more damage. Captain L at 31. True Main not really in danger yet unless Captain L gets him with like a jab lock or something. Down tilts. Captain L taking stage control. Drag down forward air into grab into and got the, the spike, but it's not going to kill outright and True Main able to, able to recover from that. Homing attack. They only did 6%. Still a nice headbutt. Yep. Ooh. Oh, going for that hard at least. Only gets the weak hit on the upside, so. Feels bad. Yeah. Now we're well over half time. Yep. Let's see what two, two lanes is going to camp. Yeah, oh, uh, he absolutely is. Not going to push. He's going to force Captain L to approach. Captain L's playing his game now. Is it? No, he DI's out this time. And then he jumps away from the thunder. Up throw to. Okay. I think he was looking for a back air there. Oh, the homing attack kind of makes, makes almost a bit of an S shape there. Okay. Oh, yep. Going hard reset, you know? Yeah, I don't know what Captain L was looking for with that up smash, but True Main punishing. Oh, up up air killing. A little tiny hit. True Main hanging out on the respawn platform. That is the He's correct choice. Out on the face cam too. Yeah. Fifty-six percent, definitely a lead. Oh yeah, in this matchup, 50, 56 percent is a pretty significant lead. 
Not as significant as the stock lead, but it's still good. Minute 30 left on the clock. Totally not out of the question for Cap Nell. If he, like, if he aggresses properly and is able to trap, to get some a few good landing traps on True Main, he can definitely close the, the gap before he's in dread of getting timed out, but... It seems like he's trying to get some down into close like that, but we're nearing yeah. a minute. True Main's not just going to let that happen. Running circles around Cap Nell right now. Yeah. Playing very evasively, and that's a lot of damage. Spin dashing in there, Another and that's one. a lot more damage. He's up 40% right now, right there. It's rage. At the end of the day, oh. it's rage. Yeah, that's true. Doesn't one one down. thing that um oh nice up smash covering that uh the get up. Oh, another up smash. This the thunder. Good. Okay. One thing that Pikachu gets uh, with rage that he really benefits from is. Um, if he, if he has Rage and he does a fair drag down, he has enough time to up smash. No way. Yeah. On, I, I think it's, it's better on some characters than others. Like, well, I think that's a nice smash. Yeah, True Main taking game three. That little so, pop off there. Yep. That's cool. Not wanting to get 3 0'd. <clears throat> yeah, each of these matches are taking a lot of time, though. Like, that's right. as I said, they're both really patient players. As aggressive as uh, True Main can be when he can, when he wants to, he he's patient too. Yeah. He he applies pressure when necessary. I mean, it's no easy feat to take a game off Captain O. Oh yeah, no, it's 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 difficult. Ooh. I really like that read from Spam Cop on uh, it's okay. Survival. Oh, is uh, is he gonna? This is gonna be even slower now. Oh, no, fine. he's not. He's he's maybe the, the puff counter pick. He did against Fallen. He thinks he's so funny. Yeah, he did do it against Fallen, but that was because he, he genuinely really doesn't like the the, the Rosa matchup. Not even with this cloud. Huh? Not even with this cloud. I thought he was he would have gone cloud first, honestly, but I guess not. Anyway, we're going to Smashville for Game Four. Um, Captain L likes the stage, and he can use the platforms to you know sit back and throw jolts when he wants to. Taking the early lead here, Captain L is yep. just running with it. 39%. And that early did lead matters a lot in this matchup. Because as soon as one person gets a lead, the other has to approach. And... Wow! Spamcop just two-stock music king. He's, da he's still down 2-1, but that was interesting. No, momentum's a big thing here. Yeah. Alright. Tries to get uh, cover Captain L with the spin dash there, but... Go for that raw force match again. Yeah. Worked once, can it work twice? Yep. Capnell keeps up, uh, so he's shooting these Thunder Jolts and he's following the Thunder Jolts to try to bait, uh, bait a defensive reaction from True Main and then punish the, uh, the how he feels with the Jolt. Ooh, oh, that was... Sour Spot up smash. That it? No, that's not it. Flashback. But it's close. He's got a big lead here now. Getting the neutral get up with a down, down air. I'm Captain L playing this right. True Main's got to adapt if he wants to make a comeback here. Falling forward air in a forward tilt. Over 100 damage lead here. And an up throw into forward air. Just a little damage. bit more damage. Oh, no, he, he went for the drag down. To, to up smash, but down I think throw. he needed to dash attack to have a hope of connecting that one. Up air. We're getting close to another upper kill, actually. Just a tip. Oh, True uh, Main, uh, too afraid of what Captain O was going to do to punish his landing, and he drifts too far away from the stage to recover. SD might be better than getting killed by that up there. Yeah. Grab, yeah, down throw. Oh, it's a down air. Punish, punish, punish. Nice. That's damage. Oh, he's mashing down That's not good. Yep. They're all very aggressive, even when he's in a disadvantage. Yeah. No, it's, as patient as both these players are, they will they will apply pressure when they have the advantage. And that's really what being patient effectively is all about, is about not overextending and a approaching for the sake of approaching. You're approaching with purpose. <laughs> Trading jabs. Captain L laughing True Mate once again. Trumaine definitely has to approach right now. He goes okay, good, good tech from, from Trumaine. If he hadn't a jab to tech that, that would have been the uh, jab lock. 
to up smash KO. Which we haven't actually seen from Captain L land this set, but it's a favorite KO setup for him. And that's, and that's it. Right there. Captain L winning 3-1 over Trumaine. And his next set is going to be against the winner of Nurse and Strike.